Hi and Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today we are going to explain the complete wiring diagram of Cummins QSX15. Wiring diagram with the PCC2100 baseboard engine model CM570 Cummins and can communication J1939 data link. Okay. This wiring diagram I purchased from website by uh, 48 USD and 16 cent. As you can see, check out the price of this diagram. But I want to explain and share this diagram for free with my friend to help my friend and understand. Please support my friend. I have a request to all newcomers if you are first time on my channel please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to get in more let's update video so let's get started the commons qsx15 model ecu is consist on three ports one port is for the oem ports and one port is for the actuator ports connector number two and also one port is for the sensor port as you can see here this ACM is consist on three ports okay so let's get started to explain each ports the complete pin out as you can see here connector C4 31 pin OEM connectors pin out from ACM pin 5 6 and 7 and 19 is going to the engine coolant level sensor one is for high switch one is for low switch and one is five full supply and return now come to connector number three as you can see here pin 41 pin 47 and pin 32 this is for the crankshaft engine speed position sensor one is pin 41 is five volt supply and pin 47 is a signal of the sensor and pin 32 is a return. Return means back, si back signal to the ECM or to the ECU. Now move to the ambient air pressure sensors. Pin 17, pin 6 and pin 31 is out from the ECM sensor port connectors. Pin 17 is a 5 foot supply to the ambient air temperature sensor, pressure sensor. And pin 6, 6 is a signal and pin 31 is a return. Now move to the oil pressure temperature sensor. Pin 45, 44, 42, 43. Supply 5 volt pressure signal. And also temperature signal and also pin 43 is a return. Pin 13 and 2 is a, 1 is a return of the coolant temperature sensor and 1 is a signal. Okay. And move to the intake pressure temperature sensor pin 37 is a 5 volt supply pin 39 is a pressure signal and pin 30 is a temperature signal and pin 40 is a return okay now move to the camshaft engine position sensor pin 11 is a supply 5 volt to the camshaft engine position sensor and pin 50 is a signal to the position sensor and also Pin 21 is out to the sensor return. Now move to the fuel pressure sensor. Pin 27 is a supply. Pin 29 is a signal and pin 30 is a return. Now move to the last oil level supply. Pin number 15 and pin 26 and pin 27. This is going to the scent inlet oil disconnect. Okay. Now start to explain connector number 2 of the actuator port. Connector number 2 actuator port pin 35 is re reserved going to reserve this this is the two connectors connect male and female connector back together the pin 34 and pin 43 is for the actuator power and actuator returns is going to the synth oil, oil system disconnect 4 5 and 6 is going to and then as you can see here 
this is our fuel pump wiring control diagram as you can see here is the B positive and here we two connectors one and two pin consist two connectors and inside here we have normally open switch and finally going to the power to the fuel pump and one side of the fuel pump is ground as you can see this one okay this is the harness number 459347 harness connector numbers and then we move to next this is the complete activators pins outs pin 33 is a signal to the kill pilot switch relay or as you can call fuel shut off activators okay and pin 10 and pin 9 pin 10 is positive to the front fuel activator and pin 9 is negative to the front fuel activators and then 9 and 6 negative and positive is going to the rear fuel activator positive and negative and then front timing activator and then rear timing activator negative and positive and all these pins okay now move to explain further as you can see this is the connector number one which is OEM port this is the OEM port 50 pin connectors connector number one so let's get start to explain as you can see pin 46 and pin 37 is going to the resistor number one terminator resistor 120 ohm as you can see if we follow these two wires as you can see here this wire pin 46 out from the connector OEM connector 50 pin connectors and pin 46 and pin 37 if we follow this two pin this two pin is going to the connector C5 connector 9 pin data link connectors and one wire is coming here to the down connect to connect with the hairs with the junction okay as you can see here no here you can see here pin 36 is empty pin 26 and pin 27 this two wire is this is the can communication wiring this is going to the the 9 pin connector to pin f, f, f and G as you can see psi J 17808 and also 1708 data link positive and negative okay if you have the can communication related problem your software or your PC is not connected to the ECM you check and verify this section to figure out your problem where is you have a can communication or wiring problem as you can see here this is the this two wire is going to another 120 ohm terminator resistor as you can see to the jet 10 connector of the PCC 2100 series jet pin jet 10 connector is connected P10 connected to jet 10 connector of the PCC 2100 baseboard okay now we are going to explain the down connection of the can communication of the OEM port 50 pin connector as you can see pin 38 is going to the key switch to the pilot relay and then to the in and insert it to the NO and then out from the NO out from the NO and then going to the F12 fuse which is 5 ampere as you can see this one and then out from the 5 ampere and re back to the F11 fuse 10 ampere fuse and going to the SP1 SP1 means a splice number one splice number one two wire is going directly to the OEM connector pin 18 and one pin is going to pin 28 okay and one pin of the SP1 is going upper okay as you can see this one SP1 have three pins two pin is directly going to the OEM 50 pin connector pin to pin 18 and pin 28 when one pin is going up as you can see this one we are further follow the upper pins 
and some the lower pins where is the this if you follow this wire as you can see this wire is going to and finally turn to this side and as you can see this is coming to the connector C5 9 pin data link connector data power this is already power positive okay now check out the another pins where is going this pins pin 7 pin 8 and pin 17 this three wire is directly going to the splice number 2 it means the junction number 2 as you can see and one wire is going up if we follow this wire as you can see this wire this wire is going to is going to the connector C7 data link power and to the pin 3 which is A okay this one now check out this last connection of the OEM port 50 pin connector pin 29 pin 30 pin 39 pin 40 and finally the pin 50 this all wire is going to the splice number 3 the CM 570 power return this is the negative in ground the engine chest is ground okay if we follow this two wire is going up the last middle middle last two one as you can see one wire is going to the C7 connectors data link connector going to the to the negative and one wire is going to to the 9 pin OEM connector to the as you can see this is the Psi J99939 common connectors so this is the complete wiring diagram of the Cummins QX15 or QSX15 model complete wiring diagram so let's little bit view it the Cummins PCC2100 series as you can see here we have a generator connection and uh, already we have a CT current transform connection and the the Cummins PCC2100 series have a uh, TB1, TB2 and also customer input, output and uh, OEM connectors and also as you can see here we have the customer input emergency stop. I already explained this complete wiring diagram of PCC2100 series. I uploaded on it three videos on my channel. I explain this complete PCC 2100 series in three parts. If you want to understand complete wiring diagram of Cummins PCC 2100 series, please go back and check out in my videos and watch the complete three parts and understand. I hope to watch this complete videos. See you all next time and goodbye. Thank you.